When one thinks of the past, one is often filled with regret for things that one wished would have happened but did not. I imagine the story of a man who lives on the island, a writer. Imagine a story of a man who lives on the island. What kind of a man is he? I wish you were someone else, someone different. What are you writing? Imagining killing me? Victoria. So you found me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now, 
Never thought I'd see you on the island. I came to visit you. I know. I want to talk to you about making a film. What kind of film? Oh, very low budget, nothing fancy. You know, just a few locations, small cast, digital camera. Get a few of our friends to be in it. You, a bunch of other actor friends. Hmm. What's it about? I want to make a film about the past. Whose past? Well, every man's, but informed by my past, I suppose. What do you want to say with this film? That life is full of regret, but it is also an illusion. And the past is a part of this illusion. Most of the time, it's an imagined past. It's not a real past. Sounds complicated. No, not really. Look, there are layers of illusion, layers of fantasy, layers of dreams, layers of reality. All this is a part of a person's past. For instance, I imagined you as playing a character in this film. This fantasy is a part of my past, but it is also a projection of my future. My future with you playing a part in it. I wish you were someone else, someone different. Are you happy with me? Do you like me the way I am? Yes, just as you are. I want to talk about the things in our past that we wished would have happened, but didn't. But you don't know anything about my past. It doesn't matter. It's the sadness and pain that everyone's been through. Well, everyone our age. I know you're younger than me. A lot younger. <laughs> the general past. The past full of regret, full of hopes and dreams that come to nothing. The ruined past. <laughs> and the sometimes meaningless future. What are you writing? Imagining killing me? Why am I the bad guy? I had sex six times last night. Why are you telling me this? Why not? I hate your melodrama. There is no melodrama. Say something. What do you want me to say? What are you thinking? I'm merely imagining you in a role. A role you're good at playing. You're very boring. Go away. Yeah, I'll go.
Why is the woman always the bad guy? All right, you can be the good guy. It won't be as interesting. It's just so predictable. Why is she always naked? Well, what do you mean? What's the problem? It's bullshit. No, it's not. It's real. I mean, there's always someone casually naked in every European film, you see. I mean, it's no big deal. Yeah, sure. And it's always the woman. I would love to casually take my clothes off for a low-budget European film. Okay, okay. Let's not get hung up on this. Oh, whatever. The other thing I want to talk about with this film, in relation to the past, is the wishful thinking that always seems to go along with it. The uh, regret at not having made certain choices when they were offered us. The regret at perhaps having made the wrong choice or no choice at all. What are you writing? Imagining killing me? Yes. Am I the bad guy? Yes. What have I done this time? Been unfaithful. <laughs> Again? Again. Is he good looking? Very. Is he young? Of course. So what are the regrets in your past? Many, but not just regrets. Mistakes, life-altering errors of judgment. But there must have been some good things as well. Of course, which is why life continues to be bearable. <laughs> you sound so Igmar Bergman. I know, it's the bleakness all around us. The dead trees, the empty lake, the cold wind. It's your fault. You should have come and visit me in the summertime. It was much more beautiful then. No, no, this bleakness is perfect for the film. Too bad, I was hoping we'd make a comedy. <laughs> I want to make a film about the past. Whose past? Every man's past, but informed by mine, I suppose. What do you want to say with this film? That life is full of regrets, but that it's also an illusion, and that the past is part of that illusion. Most of the time, it's an imagined past, not a real past. Cut. Great. Now let's take Victoria's clothes out. <laughs> what? Nothing. I was just imagining shooting a scene in the film between you and Mick. So? Well, the scene was a recreation of what we just finished talking about. My possible future is now already part of my past. See, that's what I mean when I say that the past is full of dreams and illusions, even more so than reality. But your future always turns out different to what you planned. You cannot script it. No, no, you can't. I mean, you can only hope that it will turn out as close to what you had originally imagined as possible. Your story needs to be about something more specific. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're full of shit, you know that? <clears throat>
I'm leaving you. I want to shoot the entire film on the island. Yeah, why? I don't know. There's something to be said about people choosing to live on the island. Why are you living here? I don't know. A friend needed someone to stay at her place for a few months. That's how I got here. And of course, a few months turned into a few years. Yeah, because deep down you must have had a reason to agree to live here in the first place. No, not really. Oh, okay, I wanted an escape. Escape from what? People. Life. I was getting sick of everything. I guess I just wanted a new beginning and I thought I could find that here. I was lonely. And I was ready for new people and new surroundings with no questions asked. Everything here is basic. Are you happier now? No, not really. <laughs> is that why you asked me to be in your movie? So you could use my house for a free location? Yes. No, I'm kidding. Well, not really. <laughs> no, no. No, you have to be in this film because this film is a reflection of this very same reality we're having right now. The film starts with me coming over to the island and talking to you about making a film. So if I didn't live on the island? But you are. <laughs> How about right now? Fine. Don't leave me. Why am I making you so unhappy? You know. Why are you unhappy? I don't know. It has nothing to do with you. Are you trying to kill yourself? Do you want to die? I don't know. Will leaving me make you happier? I don't know.
someone else? No. Why do you want to leave me? Why? I'll be staying in town tomorrow night. Oh yeah? How come? Don't you remember? No, what are you doing tomorrow night? I promised Raul I'd stay in town tomorrow. Oh yes, I forgot. How is Raul? Fine. There is no more laughter. There is no more hope. There's no more happiness. The day you died became the day I died. I am alive. I walk, I eat, I sleep, I... And yet I'm dead. All... These... Years... All these years of history... Together has become unbearable now that you're gone. My life, my darling, has become a void. So beautiful, so young, so full of life. I can still hear your wonderful red laughter. And now, you are no more. I don't know how I can go on without you. it up. And Raul is her lover. I prefer to leave that vague. They could be colleagues just working together on a project. She's a very beautiful woman. She's very independent. The writer suspects it, but he loves her. And she leaves him? No. But I don't know what's real and what isn't. Well, some things become real and some things remain imagined in the end. It becomes part of one's life story. So both the imagined and the real become real. In the writer's mind, it does. His whole life story becomes blurred between reality and, and the imagined. He invents things when the reality of his relationship becomes too painful. It's very European. <laughs> mm.
You go. I'll be up in a minute. So why is he having this affair? Revenge, of course. Because of Raoul? Not just Raoul. Well, how many of her lovers are real and how many are imagined? That's immaterial. The point is, he feels insecure and having an affair puts him in the driver's seat, so to speak. But is this an imagined affair that he's having? It's as imagined as the affair or the affair she's having. What's real? Nothing is real. Everything's real. Happy? Yeah. Good.
Don't I get any? a drink. Who are you thinking of? You. Liar. You. <laughs> Liar. Without hope, there is no joy. Without you, there is no future. I live in dread. The constant dread of losing you, the uh, unbearable dread of your suffocating unhappiness. What happens now? What happens? Do you want to leave me, or do you just want to leave, or...? Is it me that wants to leave? I'm fascinated by the fact that one can fantasize about something in one's life, but when given the opportunity to recreate that fantasy in real life, the script always seems to change or jump into uncharted territories, as well as should, because the other person doesn't know the exact nature of one's fantasy. But even if another person's not involved, a fantasy is always altered by reality. For instance, I decide to go for a walk on the beach. Suddenly, it starts to rain, or I get stung by a wasp, or I fall down and break my leg. All I've been doing was fantasizing a pleasant walk along the beach.
publicizing this very minute. A love scene. Are you visualizing me in this love scene? No, not you. The other woman. It's a very simple story, really. The, the writer is in a troubled marriage. He's afraid his wife's gonna leave him for another man. He lives in the constant tread that something awful is going to happen to her because of her perceived unhappiness and constant acts of self-destruction. He tries to imagine alternatives to his own bleak scenario. He imagines scenes in the future with his wife, but when these scenes come about, they are different from what he had imagined in the first place. He also imagines alternative scenarios with the other woman, the one in his mind. He interacts with characters which may or may not be real. In the end, he's just a writer, making it up as he goes along, including the fiction of his troubled marriage. Isn't this all very confusing? Love is very confusing. Having an affair. I should be asking you that. Well, I'm asking you. No. Are you imagining having one? Yes. Would you like to have one? Are you having an affair? You didn't answer my question. Would you leave me if I did? Would you leave me if I? No. Why not? Because I love you. Are you sure? Guess what? I would like to.
What's wrong? Nothing. Can't you sleep? No. Do you want out? Of course not, do you? We're not very happy, are we? Aren't we? Don't lie. You're not happy. No. What are you doing? Can anything ever be recreated in its entirety? I mean, in every identical detail. Can any single moment in anyone's life ever be recreated? Why is it so important? I don't know. A happy person doesn't want to change the past. Oh, I think everybody does. And why does it matter to make it better, to make it different? Everyone has something that happened in their lives that they wish they could change. And so they fantasize about it. And why can't a fantasy remain a fantasy? And why do I want to guess someone else's fantasy and hate them for it? Don't leave me. Don't leave. Pretty, isn't it? Yes. I love you. We have to end this. I can't leave her. I don't want to. I 
I love you. Can't leave her. I don't want to. There has to be an eating scene in the film. Every French film I've ever seen has always had one. Well, you've got the nude scene, you've got the long static scene, you've got the existential scene, you've got the smoking and the drinking scene. You might as well throw in an eating scene. Do they eat naked in French films? You don't like the script. I just don't get it. What's not to get? The film is about ideas, memories, possibilities, mixing up the past with the present and the future, seeing how much of your life will turn out the way you think, plan, hope, or want it to. It's not about a linear plot. It just doesn't make sense. Sure it does. I mean, all the drama and the plot is manufactured by the writer character to spice up the story. It's all arbitrary. I mean, what if he does have an affair? What if he leaves his wife for another woman or she leaves him for another man? In the end, it doesn't make any difference. What matters is the regret of not having made certain choices. How different one's life might have been had he made another choice. Well, you can't just say that. Some people make the right choices, and some people have everything, and others have nothing. They will never have anything. What are you saying? All I'm interested in is the different variables in a person's past. There are no variables. The past is the past. I know that, but a person makes a certain choice at that particular point in time. The person thinks he's making the best possible choice that he can get, but but the reality is he he the reality is he had no choice. He had no choice other than to make the choice that he made. Uh, okay, but there's no mystery in that. Yeah, but there's great mystery in in the making of the choice. You understand? Yeah, I understand, but no, there is no mystery. Yeah. She chooses because it's the best thing to choose at that time that she's making the choice. No, no, she imagines several variables before she makes that particular choice. And she makes a choice based on what she thinks is the best result for her, the best end. But she makes that choice. It never turns out to be exactly the way she plans it to be. Because uh, you can't... Oh, that, wait. Hey, Harry, come on, man. I mean, this is all very Eric Romer. I mean, can't we just like... Look, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. And if I don't know, then the audience isn't going to know. I mean, can't we just skip these speeches? It's all very confusing. I agree. Okay, cut. Do you get it? Yeah. Good. Have you been to Victoria's place before? No, this is the first time. Did you know why you're coming to see her? Well, I told her I was planning a trip to the island. It'd be nice if we could meet. Did you tell her I was coming with you? No. I want to talk to you about making a film. Oh, yeah? What kind of film? Very, very low budget. A few locations, small cast, digital camera. You, Karen, a few of our actor friends. What's it about? I'm going to make a film about the past. Who's past? Everyone's past, every man's past, but informed by mine, I suppose. Sounds complicated. Uh, you haven't read it yet? No, he's being very mysterious about it. You're not shooting this, are you? No, no, we're just rehearsing it. Can I ask you why you put this scene in? I know you're trying to recreate something that may or may not have happened, but why two versions? We already shot one without Karen, and now we're shooting one with her in it. The audience doesn't know what actually really happened. When I was first writing this scene, I wasn't sure whether I was going to come and visit you alone or with Karen. I imagined both scenarios. Yeah, but one happened and one didn't. Yes, I know, but in my mind, they both happened. So why two versions? Because, Victoria, this whole exercise is about recreating the past and the imagined past. Okay, can you explain to me why we are shooting this version in this house, which is supposed to be the writer's house and not the other? I mean, it really is very confusing. This house which we had all this time in pretending was the writer's house, is really your house, right? I mean, this is where you, Victoria, the actress, actually lives. We're just pretending that you aren't. It's just another variation, Victoria. So what? The audience doesn't it know. It doesn't matter. Come on, let's just say, this is, this will, will be as good as anything else. Why don't you just shoot the damn thing? All right, let's shoot it. I'm ready. No.
no, 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 just a minute. Look, things happen. And half the time, people don't remember exactly how they happened. When they recreate the experience, there's always something that is altered or changed. It's just how the mind works. Memories of one's life is biased with illusion, dreams, fantasies, hopes, resentments, countless other notions. Even the most banal event in one's life is altered by time. Not because we want to, because you can't help it. Great, cut. Have you been to Victoria's place before? No, this is the first time. Just to you know why you're coming to see her? What do you think? I don't know. Yes, you do. Didn't you tell her I was writing a script with a part in it for her? I didn't think it was a secret. It's not. I purposely didn't want to tell her until I saw her. Why not? What's the big deal? Well, you would have found out once you read the script. I wanted to combine the real with the imagined. Now I can't do that anymore. What are you talking about? Oh, never mind. I mean, why do you have to repeat everything I tell you? I didn't know it was confidential. Okay, fine. Let's just drop it. I don't know why you're mad at me. I'm not mad at you. Yes, you are. I can't ever do anything right. Let's just drop it. I don't want to drop it. What did I do wrong this time? You're always critical of everything I do. Why did you tell me you had sex with him six times? Was that supposed to be some kind of joke? How am I supposed to know what to believe anymore? You can believe what you want to believe. Fine. We got nothing more to talk about. What are you going to do? What do you want me to do? Leave. I don't want you to leave. What do you want from me? What? Nothing. Something. What do you want from me? How am I the problem? Lindsay had told me that Karen had already told you about this project. You know, I kind of wanted it to be a surprise. You know, I'd always imagined me coming over to the island to visit you. After I'd finished writing my script, I'd tell you a little bit about it, and then you'd read it, and you'd see I'd already written some of the dialogue we just finished having. Why is that so important? I was just happy that you were thinking about me and that you want me to be in your film. Yeah, I know. I, I just thought it might be fun to add another layer of imagined reality, which I would maybe later on use in the film. But you told me you wanted to talk about the past in this film. Uh, regret. What do you regret? Oh, who knows? There are so many things one regrets in one's life. Yeah, but you said there's something you needed to talk about. Your regrets. <laughs> I just want to get this film made. 